Then I want to talk about smartphone innovation, whether a low end, affordable, or a high end one. Often the credit goes to the mobile phone makers. However, at the heart of these products, there is a common touch enabling impeccable user experience, and that is Qualcomm Snapdragon. Today, in the fourth episode of the Big Bosses, we are at the Qualcomm office and we have a very special guest with us. This is Sabi Swai. Hi Sabi, an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. So, this time the entire conversation is around uh, Gen AI, artificial intelligence. So, tell us what's happening in this space. Um, thank you very much. It's good to be here. Um, a lot of excitement at Qualcomm regarding what's happening around Gen AI, right? especially for on-device AI. What does that mean? It basically means that we can, you don't have to send everything onto the cloud. You can do a lot of these models can run on more efficiently, mm -hmm. uh, with more privacy, more you know shorter latency, and much better performance, and with a lot more privacy on the device. That's what's most exciting about about where we are headed with Gen AI on the device, and that's actually not just for phones. Uh, we talked about the IPC, we talked about what GA and Gen AI is doing on the automotive. We're starting to think of uh, of customers that are trying to think about what Gen AI can bring into two wheelers. There are use cases around that. So you can think about this to be a very sort of ambiguous, you know, in every sort of uh, vertical that, that we play in. So are there some uh, very exciting use cases that you've seen recently? You know, a lot of these use cases, like you can you can imagine, but use cases around uh, on the phones, for example, right? Speech to, let's say, it's, uh, say, natural language processing, right? Yeah, for example, if you are speaking in, let's say, Mandarin, and I'm 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 can only understand Hindi, you can actually have a conversation, right? This makes the world even smaller than what you know connectivity did, right? So now I can, you know, I don't need a a Google Translate or any other translation app where I have to enter the text, I can actually do it real time. So imagine what you're able to do in terms of conversing with people and be able to do that. That's one. Um, the other one is about image, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and what we can do around like stable diffusion, right? In terms of, you know, let's say you want to, uh, you know, create, uh, like Picasso would have created like a picture of the Golden Temple, right? You can imagine you know, think about Picasso, you know, probably never went to the Golden Temple, now actually doing a Golden Temple picture, right? So, it's the, it's just limitless what we are able to do, right, uh, with, with on-device AI. Uh, and there's also, coming to AI, uh, there's also a lot of scare around it. Yeah. Most Indians, like 68% of the Indians, like when compared to the global counterpart like US, UK, Germany, they are more scared of losing their jobs too. Yeah. So, what's your take on it? You, you know, I think uh, it's uh, it's like uh, World Wide Web. You know, mm -hmm. when it came, there was a lot of you know skepticism about what could happen. You know, job cuts, and we actually saw you know a massive growth, right, especially in India. Mm -hmm. I think that's the opportunity for India, especially around on-device AI, right? Imagine the we just I just give you two use cases, mm -hmm. right? I can give you a lot of different use. We can sit here all day talking mm -hmm. about use cases for enterprise, right, for industrial application and on safety application. We can talk about energy generation, how we can make that more efficient, right. You can imagine the amount of use cases that all of these can able to do. I think it's time that the, especially I think the Indian companies like the, you know, the system integrators or large ones that have so many software, ex, you know, embedded experiences, right, can actually do a lot you know, a lot of good business, right, on, on device AI. Because all of these need different use cases, right? We haven't even thought about some of the use cases. I think we're just about to scratch the surface here. I think uh, the startups should start thinking about what is the unique use cases they're bringing. Mm -hmm. As long as you're bringing value to either the enterprise or the consumer, I think that's what you figure. Don't just do AI for the sake of doing AI, right? Do where you can improve things, you can, you know, lower the cost. You can improve people's lives. You can you can do all of that stuff. I think if you can add value, then I think absolutely there will be a huge, tremendous growth for especially AI uh, startups here in India. So uh, you know, uh, the, like I said, the foundation is very strong mm -hmm. for us, right, in India. Uh, there are some chips that are designed end to end in India. Some mm -hmm. are through partnership with okay. our global teams, right. So mm -hmm. it's not that all the chips are here, but. A lot of our chips actually, you know, uh, but India has a very important, um, uh, you know, piece of all the uh, semiconductors that we ship globally, software as well as semiconductors. Now, 
Go ahead. No, no, no. Um, I was, I was going to say, um, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, we've been here for 20 years. In mm -hmm. fact, two weeks ago, we celebrated our 20th anniversary uh, in Hyderabad. And later this year, we're going to have the same thing in our Bangalore office, right? We, in, uh, we just inaugurated our Chennai facility, and we have a huge presence mm -hmm. in Noida. So we're pretty well established across, across India. Um, what is important for us is uh, is uh, is to continue to innovate and bring more and more innovation. Mm -hmm. What has changed for us is, mm -hmm. you know, we ship it globally. You know, we're starting to now focus more on products and solutions for India market as well, right? As as you see more PLI focused, DLI mm -hmm. focused, you'd have more industry startups mm -hmm. that you're probably more well aware of. You see these coming out. Mm -hmm. We're going to start focusing more and more on on, on those talent to be focused on the India market. Okay. So currently in India there's a push for semiconductors from our Prime Minister. We're making it a global semiconductor hub. So in this, how are you go how Qualcomm is going to add value to India India's semiconductor aspirations? Yeah. Like in terms of so I think uh, in, a, in a couple of ways, right? So our CEO was here mm -hmm. um, very recently, and then he was here, you know, a, a year earlier. He he made a commitment when he made Prime Minister Modi that you know if India sets up a semiconductor uh, manufacturing ecosystem, we will bring our tech and our products into that into the factories here. And I think we are uh, absolutely uh, staying on that commitment. We are working with. Uh, a few of the partners that are looking to make investments and get, uh, you know, backends or fabs ready in, a, in the next few years. Okay. Um, we can't publicly announce who they are, obviously, because it's up to them to uh, disclose their, the plans. But more importantly for us, if you think about it, you know, some people ask me, like, Sami, you, you guys are fabulous. Like, why, why are you so important in this, uh, in this ecosystem? I think the importance for us is, one, we have tech right here, right? We did more of our chip design, you know, mm -hmm. in... In, in India. So if somebody's setting up, a, you know, let's say in Gujarat or somewhere in there, they're setting up a, a manufacturing backend, you know, we can work very closely with them because it, most of our uh, tech is here, right? Uh, the second thing is because of our scale, right? The amount of chips we do, right? There's only a few other companies that are equal to or close to us, right? So all of these folks need, you know, scale, right? As you mm -hmm. set up a manufacturing, you want to make sure you have products going into the lines, you want to make sure that you bring the tech. We have the tech locally. And then we certainly have the ability to actually help these companies, you know, in terms of which tech nodes they should be focused on, you know, what should be the back end that they should focus on, and what else we can do. So we're providing a lot of tech guidance, not only to the government, but also to these private uh, enterprises that are looking to scale up. So we're very, um, we're very excited about what the possibilities are uh, in the next, uh, you know, hopefully very soon. Um, to to have products that are you know at least some element of those manufactured in India. Coming to smartphones, uh, what surprises do you have for the Indian consumers? Um, I think uh, uh, a few surprises. Right, one I think uh, we are act we are actively working on bringing the five G uh, you know price point down, price point. right? So that you know as you know uh, Jio is already you know pan mm -hmm. India, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, Airtel will be, and and hope, you know, Vodafone should be doing five G very soon as well. Uh, so we're really excited about you know the fact that the pace at which five G India has embraced five G, right? So I think we see as very responsible as a responsible company to bring five G more and more into the mass market, right? Here, so we're absolutely uh, very aggressively working towards that, right? We have a. Um, uh, we have uh, we are working on a few solutions that you know can can bring that. Second, I think is uh, around AI use cases. Right? We have our first developer conference uh, a few weeks ago, right? And it was very good to see some of the new innovative use cases that developers were coming out. So I don't want to spill their beans, but you will see a lot of you'll see more and more AI capability on mm -hmm. the phone. Okay. You have any innovation in the FWA space? Yeah, I think on FWA space. Uh, 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 the innovation would be what what else can we do to lower the, the cost right uh, uh, drive um, uh, in, and drive more the ability for more Indians to be connected using fixed wireless right and not wait for fiber so I think you will find us doing um, you know we'll be doing you know uh, other solutions um, to lower that cost to be able to get more and more uh, consumers on board. 
So apart from smartphones, what are the other verticals that you're looking at? Uh, I believe last year I was told that it was drones, auto, cameras yeah. was one big part of it. Yeah. So any changes in that and your addition or continuing with those verticals as, a, as the main focus apart from smartphones? Yeah, I think uh, um, uh, auto is a big, uh, uh, big um, uh, area for us. We are engaged with all the four-wheeler companies, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, on on uh, basically connectivity as well as the uh, digital cockpit as well as our new flex ride platform for ADAS as well. So we're working with them on you know different levels, different partnerships, and and also set software defined vehicles as well. So a lot of stuff that's going on into our four wheeler uh, initiatives. Two wheeler, we are very excited, right? Mm -hmm. You know the market that's uh, you know amazing market, and India is a leader in two wheeler, you know, mm -hmm. all the way from tech. Uh, all the way from innovation on that product level, right? So we're seeing uh, a lot of traction with two wheelers in digital cluster, in connectivity, uh, and so on and so forth. So a um, lot of stuff there. Um, uh, PC, I think uh, yeah. we've heard, we've uh, announced our Excelite platform, uh, two chips there. So you will see AI PC, right? There's a lot of stuff that we think we can do for content generation, we can do even for um, uh, even for like customized learning, for example, for in schools and other things. So I think we're just this year would be really second half, especially we're seeing you'll see more and more devices, mm -hmm. uh, more and more partnerships that we can bring more AI PC here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's the second one. Uh, yeah, then the other one is obviously um, you touched one fixed wireless and access points. We think that's a big market on Wi-Fi six. As well as you know, access you know, uh, se setting up fiber to your home, right? Instead mm -hmm. of fiber wireless, five G wireless uh, into your home. So you know, we're absolutely working with uh, all the major operators to to bring uh, that connectivity. And then the the uh, the IoT which you touch upon, right? In IoT, we're doing a bunch of work with uh, with customers on uh, on smart meters. We're doing stuff on modules where uh, part and that goes into drones and different mm -hmm. different verticals. Um, we're also bringing stuff on IP camera like body dash. Um, we're also very excited about the edge AI box, right? Which is you know inference at the edge. You can imagine you know where you have let's say you know your own home where you have let's say six or seven cameras or what have you, right? You can able to do inference at the edge instead of sending everything to the cloud. So we're just super excited about the possibility of how we can grow our IoT business and that's a big focus for us. Uh, well, thank you so much. That's all for Thank you very much. Thank you.